Have you considered that uh, you stand a very good chance of losing Rick if you go through with this? Well, that is not what I am trying to do. Well, it may not be what you're trying to do, but you're going to be in prison. Don't you think that's a lot of strain on him? Even the best relationship Look, can fall apart. there's nothing more that I want in my life than to have Rick there with me. Well, I'm not seeing that from you, no. Abby. There are no words that I can use to express that to you. And it seems to me that there's one little technicality that you are forgetting here. And that would be what? That I am guilty. And if I don't accept this plea bargain and I stand trial and they convict me, I'm going to be facing a lot more than just some time in jail. Maybe. No. No maybe about it. And I think you would know that. Abby, I am going to do my damnedest to make sure that you are cleared. I know. And if, if it's that you don't trust me to do the job, just say that. I don't no. want... This is not about trust. I, I just don't. I will think about it. <sighs> Hooray. But think fast, because the clock is ticking. You're pushing again. You're right. <laughs> I said I will think about it, and I will do that, OK? But meantime, there's something that I have to do. He's at your door. Oh. Hey, stranger. Hi. Um, would you mind letting a hard-headed but relatively charming guy come in? No. But you're welcome. Thanks. Hi, Hurley. Hi, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I know this is going to sound like a line, but exactly. I really was just leaving. No, please stay. Um, I'll call you. Okay. Okay. I'll see you. All right. Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. It's okay. What are you doing here? I just gave Rick a ride home. I left his coat in the car. Mm -hmm. I, I was just talking to Abby. I had to question her. Yeah, I know. He told me that you were doing some work for him. So how's Lizzie doing? Not very good. Somehow or another, she got it into her head that she's got to take care of Beth. And can't leave her alone. Yeah, I know. You've told me all of that already. Yeah, I know that. Any of it is starting to sink in. You understand it? I told you. I do understand it. I understand all of it perfectly. I'm a very understanding person. Please give my best to your family. I don't really want to talk about this anymore. Abby, just the thought of you going to prison, it just makes me crazy. I can't I know, help it. Look, look, the reason I came no, over just is... Listen. just listen. Please stop and listen to me. Okay. All right. Thank you. While I was talking to Harley, I realized two things. And one of them is, I cannot take the risk of going to trial, because if I am convicted, I will be looking at a lot more than just 18 months. Well, Abby, I'm not trying to talk you into or out of anything, OK? Whatever you decide to do, I can live with that. It's just this this fighting, OK? This this uh, distance between us. Uh, do you understand? It's just I can't I can't live another minute like that. No, I can't live with it either. That is, well, it brings me to another decision that I've made. What's that? Rick. I want you to make love to me tonight. Hey, surprise, tough guy. <laughs> Listen up now, okay? Listen up, okay. fucking man, because I'm gonna only say this uh, once, yeah. okay? You stay away from Cassie, or mm. I promise you, you're gonna be sorry you ever got out of prison. You understand me? Huh? <laughs> I have an idea. And what would that be, Mr. Lewis? Well, we're a couple of big shots around here. Why don't we just take off and go someplace where we can be comfortable? Are your intentions honorable? Not a chance. <laughs> Good. Don't you go anywhere. Not a chance. <laughs> Joshua, 
Yes. I love that you still feel this way about me. I always will.